I'm getting in my car right now, and I'm going to follow you. He's going to McDonald's. He's okay, running I off. don't want you to Please. follow him, okay? You can hear the adrenaline in that caller's voice seconds after she witnessed a bold robbery in the middle of a public's parking lot. And things escalated from there. Not long after that moment, police shot the suspect who ran across a busy state road. News Channel East Allison Henning joining us live from where it all began. Allison. Keith, Jen, the calls to 911, they came from this shopping plaza right along Fruitville Road. Some of the people who saw what happened, they actually followed the suspect as he ran out of this area to make sure he didn't get away before police arrived on scene. 911, what is the location of the emergency? Um, Publix over here on um, Beniva and Fruitville. This man just tried to grab this lady purse. A bold robbery in a busy part of Sarasota led to this large police presence along Fruitville Road Tuesday. Guests at this extended stay hotel woke up to find the parking lot part of a crime scene. A bunch of police cars, blinking lights, and lots of police tape. Calls for help came from the Town and Country Plaza on Beneva Road. Witnesses who called 911 said a robbery happened in the public's parking lot. It was just after 10 a.m. He ran over to the McDonald's in the McDonald's parking lot and then... He went across the highway. Once police arrived on scene, it was a short time later when they say shots were fired. It was a big surprise to hear what happened. This is a call nobody ever wants to hear, uh, shots being fired and an officer having to call that over the radio. Um, it's a bad day when an officer has to use force. The suspect was taken to the hospital. We're told the veteran officer involved was not hurt. When Eagle 8 HD flew over the scene, we saw police focusing in on the west end of the Homewood Suites parking lot, an area where we saw someone's personal belongings scattered on the ground. It's unclear whether or not the suspect was armed. Police say the shooting case involving their officer is now in the hands of the Florida Department of Law Enforcement. And officials with FDLE tell us they are still conducting interviews, gathering evidence, and working on a timeline. Once all of that is complete, their findings will then go over to the state attorney's office. Reporting live in Sarasota, Allison Henning, 8 on your side.